What's going on YouTube? It's OK Mon, I'm back with a brand new playthrough. This time around we'll be building an Arna Electromancy build centered around cooldown reduction. Now this is my second attempt at doing this run. The first time I wasted about an hour and a half scouring the map for enough money to purchase the Electromancy Treaty just to make it all the way back to Manshire and die right outside of the very first dungeon. I honestly thought I could basically tank and spank the first three enemies and uh, lo and behold we could not so that's an hour down the drain i have to do this all over again probably looking at sitting in the front of the computer for another two hours just to get this sucker recorded but i digress let's get into this let's get started brand new game permadeath as always adventure mode and as i just mentioned we will be using arna primarily for her vow of feet unique trait this one will decrease our cooldowns, decrease energy cost, and decrease damage for each enemy within our vision. So confirm. So? Beautiful. Let's first start off by talking to Varen and grab that ring. That's a free ring for us. Go ahead and slap that on. And just to get us started, put the sword and shield on. Take a look at the map. Nothing too interesting. Now to get us started, I do want to steal some items here in the inn, so we'll head upstairs. Take a look inside of the barrels. A couple of items there. We'll head upstairs. Oh, couple. <laughs> Nothing good there. What about inside of the uh, the nightstand? That's not too terrible. We got a hood and a bolt of cloth. Next up is the bottle of oil. Grab that. Check this room out next. Oh, fancy. Let's go. We got ourselves a deer pelt. I mean, a psycho pelt. Whichever. Deer, Saiga, tomato, tomato. Next up, we'll grab the Azure Cape and the Hired Blade Cowl. Slap those on. Move all the stolen goods around. Oh, it's already filled up. No kidding. Okay. I guess we dropped the rest of it to the ground. There we go. Grab these two items out. I guess I <laughs> didn't need to drop everything. There we go. Move over, move, 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 and move. Noisely done. Moving on. Next up, we're going to talk to Hold here. And we're going to go ahead and sell these two items. The Apprentice Cowl and the Worn Cloak. Now, last time I utilized the Apprentice Cowl thinking, well, we're going to be magic users. I might want a magic power in the backfire. But uh, I think I had too much light armor on and just wasn't very tanky. So we ended up dying pretty quickly. Sell these two. And I can't really repair or do anything else. We want to save the money that we have currently. The Apothecary's next. We're going to sell the map of Osbrook. And now what I would like to do is I'm going to wait around in town until it's evening. And we're going to steal from the Apothecary. We're going to steal from the Tanners. And we're going to steal from the Elder. So I'm going to waste some time just walking around. Now before we get to stealing everything, let's come into the inn and look up some rumors. So we're going to talk to everybody and ask them about the rumors and see if we can find something. Hopefully the witch's hut. That would be the, the most ideal situation. But so far, it's uh, looking like a big old zero. Anything new around here? Nothing. Talk to the elder. I don't want to sec we don't want to accept the contract just yet. Heard anything interesting? Nothing from him. Uh, anything new? Still big nothing. Okay, nothing there. Maybe. Heard anything interesting? Oh, Herbless House! No kidding, we just learned about it! Alright, where's it at? Is it nearby? Herbless House. That is pretty close. Nice. Next up is the Elder's Room. Go ahead and loot everything. Check this out. Okay, cool. Got a rabbit pelt. More items. Offload everything back inside. Two more to loot. Copper candlestick. Gross. Okay, we got another rabbit pelt, a dog pelt. And we'll offload them all in the same barrel here. Oh, give me my water bath. There we go. Cool. So now we have two more rooms to loot. One of which is going to be the Tanners, the other one's the Apothecary. Alright, Mr. Tanners, you got two squirrel pelts. I just loot everything. Loot everything there, and then offload. Perfect. Okay, looting the Apothecary next. He does have a hood, some straw, a horseshoe, and a bowl of cloth. Loot everything. 
then slap it all back inside the uh, the chest there. Perfect. From here, my first stop, I'm actually going to head over to the Herbless Hut. After that, I'm going to follow the river down. We're going to hit up the Defiled Monastery. And then after that, we're going to go to the Manshire. Once we're in Manshire, hopefully we have enough money. I'm going to purchase the Electromancy Treaty and also purchase Staves. Because my thought process here is to go pretty heavy into Electromancy but also have stabs and probably get hail of blows at the very least to assist us when we get close enough to hit enemies. But mostly, it's going to be magic mastery and electro. Now, since we are going to the apothecary's hut, or the herbless hut, let's go ahead and drop our cape. That'll figure up a space for the backpack. And that's just down here in the corner. I'll meet you guys over there. All right, we just found the herbless hut. Go ahead and head inside. Again, backpack, first thing. We'll slap that on. Loot the corpse, grab a staff, the bloodletting lance, and a couple of crowns. Then we'll grab the old remedy book. Pick that up. Go ahead and read. Perfect. Now, I'm going to actually cook up some food here. Cook. Cook. There we go. Take a look at my hunger levels. We are a little bit hungry. And one more. Perfect. All right, we just dug up a grave and found a hood, a little bit of crowns, and some gaming dice. All right, y'all, we just found a point of interest. Uh, I cannot tell what that is, but we're going to find out. I don't think it's the Leprosarium, but it could be. Hell, it might even be Brand's Cabin. I honestly do not know. Looks like it is going to be Bronze Cabin. Perfect. Keep listening. Teach me anything. About some hunting advice. Who are you? I don't know if talking to him gives us anything. Nice. So we can get a shovel. Let me go ahead and eat first. Open the backpack up, move this, move that, gaming dice, reorganize some stuff here. Um, change this, grab the shovel, grab the claw trap, deer antlers. Head inside and see what else we can loot. Rabbit pelt, vodka arrows. Uh, grab the mead. Inside of the barrel is going to be nothing. A rope. Nightstand, also empty. And then we'll loot the graves next. So we've got two graves back here. Slap that shovel on. First grave contains a padded leather with some gold. And the second grave, an earring and some gaming dice. All right, we're going to continue on our way heading south along this river. Once we make it to this point on the map, we will head south again, and that'll take us to the Defiled Monastery, because the Defiled Monastery is basically straight south from the brewery. All right, so I've been following this river around, and I did manage to find the Burnt Water Wheel. Uh, unfortunately, I still have to go a little bit more to the south to find the Defiled Monastery, but this is a lot of loot here. This is going to give us a lot of money early on. All right, inside we can pick up some spirits, loot this corpse, grab the old ledger, uh, probably just read it. Gave us 10 whole experience. Look at us go. And then the barrel, what's in here? Absolutely nothing. Open up our backpack, slap that over. Now, if we go this way from the burned water wheel, you'll find this dead tree here. And there's a grave you can dig up. Inside, we got some money. Go ahead and merge my purse together. And I'm going to drop the simple earrings and instead swap that out for the gold tooth. All right, our next objective is to continue to head south to the Defiled Monastery, after which we'll go to the uh, we'll go to Manshire. All right, here's some good news. We didn't have to travel very far. We just found the Defiled Monastery. Uh, my gu I guarantee you, yeah, we're definitely going to level up as soon as we make it here and discover the Defiled Monastery. Give it a sec, and we'll ding. 
A little bit closer, maybe? There we go. Abbey of the Holy Revelation. A deer pelt? Shoot, come on. Ugh, uh, that doesn't sell for very much. Um, that's not going to sell very much. Uh, go ahead and eat. Move this over. Reorganize. Take this, take that. Those don't sell that much. We'll head inside and we'll actually have a room to loot this, which is pretty good. So we're going to grab the hand amulet from here. Slap that on. Good deal. And now we can head back out. All right, y'all, we just arrived at Manshire. So here we are at Manshire. Uh, what I'm thinking is, since it's past evening, go ahead and drop a few items to the ground right now. And then we'll go ahead and start uh, stealing all the items from the governor, from the elder, and from the inn. So starting off, let's go to the basement. Take what we can. Offload all that back. We're going to have to eat a lot of food, too. So eat, eat. And drink some water. And then start looting. We got a sheath. Bronze Eagle. The Golden Candle of Brum. Night Sands Empty. Bryn Vermoth. Head upstairs for some more loot. From here we can loot. Uh, okay. Scroll pelts. Hourglass. And a bolt of cloth. The next barrel. What do you got? A wolf pelt. Fantastic. Offload that, take the wolf pelt, drop that back off, and the next barrel, just more food. Now, since we are here, we do have to purchase uh, the Electromancy Treaty 1. Go ahead and read that. Now we're in the Elder's House. Go ahead and loot everything from here. Ooh, a leather quiver, fantastic. Next barrel up. Ooh, another deer pelt. Let's go. Give me all that money. Head upstairs. Okay, we gotta wait for them to go to bed. And now it's time to steal. Then we're gonna offload. Not into this one. We'll just offload here. There we go. Inside the inn, we're going to go downstairs. And let's take a look. Inside the barrel, we got a bandage, Manshire Fortified, an empty barrel, and an empty barrel. Now it's time to head upstairs. Another barrel that's going to be empty. <laughs> I see a rolling theme here. We have uh, two copper uh, candlesticks and a horseshoe. And the nightstand's completely empty. Gross. This nightstand here, also empty. Well, let's go ahead and offload all of our inventory into this chest. Need that golden tooth back, please. All right, now that all the shopkeepers are awake, let's go ahead and sell a couple of items to these guys. Bottles of oil, some deer antlers, the pelt, the rope, silver nuggets, gold teeth, golden nuggets, gaming dice, horseshoe, Probably the padded leather. Um, that gets sold to the innkeeper. Hourglass. That one gets sold to the innkeeper. Bodkins get sold elsewhere. Take a look inside of our backpack here. Move this stuff over. Talk with this dude again. Uh, gaming dice. Okay, I think everything else is pretty much fine. As it is. The carpenter's up next. I want to go ahead and sell the bodkin arrows as well as the peasant flail. Let's talk to the priest and we're going to go ahead and purchase an ID scroll. Use that right now. This is what we're going to be using and that's not horrible for a weapon. We got caustic damage and crit damage. Go ahead and put that down and then we can sell the sword off, sell the shield off. Not too shabby. I do want to purchase one more ID scroll just to drop it. And then we are going to talk to him. Say, hey, we found this old herbalist. But actually, ask about work first. Cool. Keep listening. And then, bam, we turned everything in. Got another 150 gold right off the bat. Head back inside. Talk to him yet again. And now he's restocked his inventory. 
Uh, I may as well purchase these. Drop, drop. And then talk to him one last time. Because he's going to teach us how to be a staff wielding madman. Fantastic. Okay, cool. So the very first move, let's grab a Hail of Blows. After Hail of Blows, we're going to go into Sorcery, Electromancy, Jolt, as well as Impulse. There we go. That's our first few abilities. Uh, I probably do have enough money to buy Magic Mastery, because afterward we can get Seal of Power and maybe Seal of Finesse. I am unsure how I want to do that just yet. Uh, but I do have plenty enough money at the moment. I'm going to talk to Girl out again. I'm going to sell the Leather Targe. Drop the Electromancy Treaty. Sell the Brandy. Sell the Spirit. Sell the Brandy. Sell the Spirit. This bread is going to last us plenty enough time before we make it to the Rotten Willow. And ultimately go up to visit the Ransacked Homestead. We're going to get a free belt up there. So I do want to make that trip. All right, the Blacksmith's up next. We're going to go ahead and sell this sword. That's about it. We don't need to do anything else here. Uh, I could repair this. I do have the money for it. Um, You know what? Screw it. We'll wear this for a while. There we go. Good deal. All right, we're now good to go. We're going to go up and visit the Rotten Willow. And then from the Rotten Willow, we're going to go over to the Ransacked Homestead and loot that place for some more money, as well as the uh, Gilded Nobleman's Belt. And I'll meet you guys over there. All right, we got our first enemy up. I know it's wet outside and our backfire is going to be super, super high at 60%. Um, but it won't do that much damage to us right off the bat. So we're going to wait for this dude to get closer. And let's see here. Slap. Wait. Wait. Slap him again. I freaking missed because why wouldn't I? I'm just trash. I didn't mean to do that one for. I put these abilities in the wrong place. I'm so used to that one being there and this one being here. Let's rest up. Not a bad first encounter. It could have been better. All right, y'all. We're now at the Rotten Willow Tavern. We'll head inside. I'm going to go ahead and talk to old Laukri here first. And then we'll talk to One-Eyed Bwigmar. What are you selling? Anything good? Not bad. But, yeah, we don't need to talk to this guy. I'm going to go ahead and sell at least this here. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> I can make more money at a carpenter instead. And as I mentioned, we'll be heading off to the east. We'll be looking for the ransacked homestead. It's typically about three to four tiles away and just to the north or just to the south of where the Rotten Willow Tavern is. So we'll take a look. All right, we just repped the ransacked homestead, and we're super lucky. It was literally like a three tiles away, so that's pretty awesome. Heading inside the first house, we have a plate, a spool of thread, a carrot, a wardrobe with a couple of valuables, but nothing too crazy. Next up, let's investigate the cart, which has a bolt of cloth, a bottle of oil, and a spool of thread. Inside the next home, we have a wardrobe with a traveling pot, a spirit, a traveling pot for that matter. Let's open this up, move things over. We probably won't be able to carry everything as uh, typically we have way too much stuff in here. There's like four to five bolts of cloth and at least one to two wolf pelts inside. One's guaranteed, but... Two, you're getting super lucky. Uh, we'll leave that stuff behind. Nightstand's empty. Button in the barrel. Take the crumpled note to read it. And then we'll offload that. Eat this food. Again, if you guys have never been here before, you'll see this carpet on the ground. Click the end, 
And then you can head downstairs. Grab the Gilded Nobleman's Belt, slap that on. Bolt of Cloth, the Wolf Belt, I have to make room. So, Wolf Belt, where you at? Right there. Spool of Thread, Custom Order, Read, toss it away. We have a Splint, which I can leave behind, and the last barrel in here has some antitoxins. Cool. It's now time to head back to town, so we'll meet you all back in Osbrook. Yeah, we just dug up a grave and we found a Norse axe worth 686 gold. Uh, I may as well eat, reorganize, and grab this up. Fantastic. All right, y'all, we're finally back in town. The first stop is for the uh, blacksmith here. We're going to go ahead and sell the Norse axe. 86 gold. Not too shabby. Go ahead and get a drink of water. Fill up the uh, traveling pot. Take a look inside of our backpack. We've got another traveling pot. Sell these two off for 17 gold each. Bam, bam. Next up, old Bert here, general goods merchant. We will sell a bottle of oil, hourglass bottle of oil, and the coal chunk. The Tanner's next, and we'll talk to Hold to sell the Wolf Belt. Bolt of Cloth, Bolt of Cloth, Bolt of Cloth. Three spools of thread. Reorganize, and now I have 1,500 gold on us. Uh, brand new boots. Pick those up. Sell them off. And gloves. He only carries these. It's better than nothing, so I'll put those on. Does he have any belts? Skill injury cost and fumble chance. You know, it's the only belt we have. May as well take it. Oh, shite. We already had a belt. What am I talking about? Ah, I screwed up. <laughs> I'm so not used to having a belt here. I'm dumb. Ooh, the Wanderer's Cowl. I will probably have to hold off on that. We'll get it later. Uh, I just don't want to spend that cash. Carpenter is up next. And I want to sell off the Peasant Flail. This gets sold. Spearmints. That gets sold. We gotta pick our Azure cape up. Slide that over. Talk to the apothecary next. What you selling? Pick up some healing supplies. Drop the spearmint. Drop the agrimony. Sell the antitoxins. And lastly, we can talk to Odar. Grab that next contract. That's gonna take us up to the humanoid dungeon. I'll meet y'all up there. All right, we just arrived. Tower Inver. First dude up is going to be a Spear Boy. Wait for him to get a little bit closer. Alright, zap him. Fall back, fall back. Zap. Fall back, fall back. Zap again. Just keep this up. Inspect. They both have about 16 turns. So, 16 and 12. He got knocked back. Uh, nothing can do here. Wait. He's going to stab us in the face. Wait. And I'm going to knock bo both of them back. With impulse. I'm going to inspect here. 45% and 42. He's dead. And he's dead. Took some damage. But we lived that first encounter. You know, I also forgot to use our first uh, ability point, our first skill point, which is going to go into willpower. We have another one of these guys. Okay. Falling back. Zap. Fall back, fall back. Zap. Fall back, fall back. More zapping. Back, back. Keep an eye on my backfire, which is nine damage. Yep, so stab us, impulse, and he's dead. There we go. We've leveled up again. More willpower. Oh, more willpower, please. Thank you. Uh, as far as the next uh, ability point, I don't know. <laughs> I really, really don't. Uh, I will probably get short short circuit as soon as I can. Um, 
But we're also going to need either Seal of Finesse or Seal of Power. Now, Seal of Finesse is going to help us a lot with our backfire. And if we got to cast a lot of spells, that's beneficial. So I might get Seal of Finesse and then Seal of Power. And by that time, we will be able to unlock more of the uh, Electromancy skills. Ooh, nice. A Bolt of Cloth. Let's just drop everything right now. Drop that, drop this. Reorganize. And now we can head indoors. Okay, the first room is pretty small. Go ahead and unlock. Ooh, okay, the first enemy up. What I'm going to do is go right here. Hopefully that knocks him back. It did not. We hit all three, which is good. Next door up, what do we have? Oh, shite. Didn't zap nobody. Okay, we got him knocked back. Knocked him again. Oh, and he's dizzy. You're done for. Zap that guy. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. Zap. And then triple whack. G freaking G. Did I hear somebody? Maybe not. Oh, that was probably the guy dying that, that set up that trap. Yeah, I can hear him coughing. And he stepped on a freaking fire trap. You're dead. This guy here. Wait for it. Impulse. It knocked him back again. There we go. This is what I like to see. Rest up. Okay, so that was an archer that set that trap off. Set off two. Oh my god, they're both dead. Pick the lock. Inside the bookcase could be empty. We have a... Uh, what's that? Smoke bomb. And then some roasted pine caps. Next room up. Ah, I see. Bad guys. We are going to impulse. Triple whack. There we go. We didn't take that much of a... Didn't take that much damage. Okay, wardrobe. Got nothing. Nightstand. Got some alcohol. And we have a very, very open area. Two bad guys to deal with. Alright. I'm gonna wait. Right here. Okay, we knocked him back. Impulse. Nice. Let's go. Get wrecked. I don't know what this guy here was doing. Oh, he still got us. All right, good deal. Another uh, two-handed axe wielder. Okay, get him zapped up. Fall back, fall back, zap him again. He should have plenty. He has 17 rounds. Let's go back to where we were. Wait. I don't think he can get me from there. Oh, what? Bull. Get into position. Wait. Zap him. Move forward. Wait. Impulse. Triple wax. And he's dead. Okay, what's in the cupboard? Let me empty. Next cupboard, some straw. Basically empty. I just realized I still have my backpack on. <laughs> All the time. I'm so bad about this. 
Leave the backpack on the ground for right now. This is probably going to be the boss room. It is not the boss chamber. Bad guys. Two mace boys. Wait. Wait. Okay, wait. Oh, we've dazed him. G freaking G. All right, bookcase. We have a folio. Empty. We have an enchanting scroll with nothing to use it on yet. Bookcase empty. We have a crowbar. Um, Move that around. There we go. Covered. Two bottles of oil. I'm going to take one of these and then we can throw it at the boss. This might be the boss. It might be the entrance. It's probably the boss. There's a lot of room up there. What? <laughs> I'm guessing there's going to be a basement level. Oh, hello. Wait for it. He's got 47 and he's staggered. He's dead. Gotta fall back. There we go. Dead. Yeah, I can almost that's that's an entrance to the basement. Yep. Oh, somebody's gonna step on that. Oh, come on, man. Nobody. Nice. Get wrecked. God dang. God love the CC. All right, nightstand's empty. Somebody set off a fire trap. Poor lumberjack. Now the question is, boss room or no boss room? That is the question. No boss. Drop the copper chain, which we're not going to be needing. Okay, cold chunk. You can grab that. Nightstand's empty. Wardrobe is also empty. Inside the bookcase, Pyro Treaties 1. We'll read and toss it away. Okay, from here, let's head to the east first. Bad guys. This is going to be the, uh, the boss chambers. Rest up. Okay, there he is. He's coming by himself. Still not applied with what he's supposed to be applied with. There we go. Nice. Destroyed. Ha <laughs> uh. And, oh my god, you're so screwed, bro. I'm so sorry, not sorry? Alright, let's, let's kill him. Put him out of his misery. Grab that purse, which we don't have room for. Reorganize. Put the net up, because I never needed it. Uh, reorganize. Um, I'm going to have to like take a couple trips up here. Purse. We'll merge our purses together. Cabbage, wardrobe, empty, bookcase, unidentified potion. 
the nightstand empty boss chest gold gold and a king's bust oh shoot yeah two trips probably oh two bad guys fall back fall back fall back good knockback zap him again wait wait zap awesome <laughs> it's too good it's too strong <laughs> Ooh, i seen somebody whistling go back go back go back go back He's gonna wind up and hopefully he's dead. Inside the chest. Ooh. Magic power, backfire chance. Okay. Gotta toss it to the ground for the time being. I'll probably use it. We wanna increase our magical power. Inside the chest, we have a sword, which we don't need. Actually, no, I do need that. We haven't turned the contract in for the um for the blacksmith. Athletics treaty. Absolutely read that. We'll probably end up having to get dash on this build. And a horseshoe. The basement should be covered now. Yeah, let's head back upstairs and then go back to town. I think there's a couple more spots left to loot on the upstairs. Uh, but then after that, yeah, we'll go back to town, offload, come back, finish looting. All right, we're now back in town, and I have three battle cleavers, which will be enough to turn in the uh, the task here for the uh, blacksmith. There we go, 250 gold. And then I need to pick up all these other homemade swords that are on the ground. And that crowbar. Talk to him again. Sell, 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 sell. Reinforced club, peasant flail. Head over here to the general goods merchant next. Let's see, cold chunk, gaming dice, uh, copper, bottle of oil. Sell, 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 sell. Sell the copper ring. Pick up the stardust. Oops. There they will. King's bust. We'll sell that off. And then the stardust. Mr. Apothecary, you're up next. I need to purchase, 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 purchase. While also selling the Stardust. And also pick up this and pick up that. Carpenter's up next. We're going to go ahead and sell all of the wooden items. I believe there was three in my backpack. And then sell, sell, sell. I need to repair my staff. Head into the tanners and we're going to sell the bolt of silk, the peasant sash, the hired blade cowl. And I'm actually going to pick this up. I got plenty enough gold. Let's just go ahead and buy it. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Better idea. Once we turn the contract in, and then I'll purchase it because it'll be cheaper, I do believe. Mr. Elder, we're here about a reward. 405, done with that first task. Talk about the second task. There we go. Alright, now we're back. Oh no, he closed up shop. Go figure. Get out of here, man. Everything else is still stolen from him. Gosh dang it. Well, I guess in the meantime, we'll head south. We'll grab up the carpenter's plane. We're going to need it for the brewery task anyway. So let's head south. Y'all, yeah, check this out. So I was coming down. I was like, where the heck is this cart? <laughs> it's like right here. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Go figure. Wait for He's going to see me. Whack him. Fall back. Do it again. Keep it coming. Okay. Fall back. Fall back. We're in a perfect position. Zap him. 
I'm gonna actually wail a hail of blows him. There we go. Just need you to die, my guy. There we go. Maybe not trade blows with him. We're still very, very weak. All right, let's loop the cart. Go ahead and read. Let's drop this note off and we'll meet back in town. All right, we're now back in town. We'll talk to the carpenter about the elder. Talk about Odar. Talk about Dwar. And then about Dwar. Don't play dumb with us. Go ahead and hand him over that uh, carpenter's plane. There we go. Now, I do have a couple items to sell. Reorganize. Sell that. Sell this. Sell the brandy. Sell that. I've already read these two books. I gotta drop those to the ground. Okay. From here, we'll talk to Hold. And he is going to repair my gear. And I need... Yeah, 750. It was a good idea to do what we just did. Save some money there. We still got 1,500 gold. Now we can talk to the apothecary, pick up Spearmint, Agrimony. We already got some Flea Wart. Talk to him, ask him about a task, and then finish that task off. Get two free healing salves. Go ahead and pick up this enchanting scroll. Use it on the helmets, and we get plus energy. I already had another enchanting scroll in my inventory, apparently. Uh, we'll go ahead and sell the sword. And let me see here. I do need another lockpick. There we go. So now we have two lockpicks. Sell the oil. Got to drop the ingot and got to drop these books on the ground. Sell and sell. All right, y'all. We just went ahead and rested up. Uh, I got my backpack on, but no cape. We don't really need it. Have enough healing supplies to get us through the brewery and this uh, bandit hideout. We'll head over there next. Chat, we just dug up another grave. He got us a pad of doublet and 15 crowns. All right, we just arrived at the oaken barrel. Farm, guess what? Listen, we're not here to fight, my guy. Bring Krom out. We need to talk to this guy. Yeah. A guard of two horses. Deal, I'll help you out. And again, we're going to go straight north. Um, we're going to go ahead and take those bandits or brigands or whoever the hell they are. We're going to kill those guys. All right, y'all, we're at the brigands then. And I'm going to try utilizing the fence here. See if I can't kill these guys. It's going to grab everybody, isn't it? Yep. Well, we killed one guy, but that's still way too many enemies. So we're going to fall all the way back. And only pull one guy. There we go. Two guys, apparently. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, that ain't good. That ain't good at all. Okay. <laughs> Go away. Nobody wants you. Okay, so that guy left. That, uh, I <laughs> could have ended pretty bad. All right, he's almost to us, and I missed. How are you going to freaking miss? 
What's your accuracy at? 83? Oh, shite. There we go. Woo. I think that's everybody. Inside of the barrel, we got some pain meds. Inside of the sack, we got a rabbit belt. Read the smudge notes for just a little bit more XP. Nightstand empty and this chest. We have a counter chance belt, which we won't be using. All right, we're back. Talk to Krom. Brigands are dead. You're welcome. Barrel of beer. And another barrel of beer. Perfect. Reorganize and I can grab up two of the weapons that I dropped. So a peasant flail, peasant flail. And now we gotta head back into Osbrook, uh, finish off the brewery mission. And then after that, we'll be heading over to Manshire where we can purchase the Magic Treaty 1. All right, now we're back in town. First thing we're gonna do is sell the barrel of beer. I also picked up the alcohol that was outside. We'll sell those off. Possibly. <laughs> he's he's currently broke. How about you? You have 10 gold. <laughs> you you can't buy anything. Next up, we're gonna visit Hold. He's gonna purchase the padded doublet, the rapid pelt, as well as the footman belt. Mr. Bird's gonna purchase the last few items, which is a silver plate and a battle cleaver. And now we can go ahead and talk to the elder. Mr. Elder, about that brewery, you thought you could pull a fast one on us. But you're gonna give us 500 gold instead. Mr. Varen, I got us a cart, a couple horses, you're welcome. And then the last stop will be the Oaken Barrel, which will lead us into Manshire. And then we'll be able to end this episode. Alright, now that we're back at the Oaken Barrel, we're gonna head inside and loot this chest. Ooh, fancy! That's gonna give us a bit more accuracy when enemies get close to us. Farron and buddy old pal, take us on over to Manshire. From here. About your contracts, consider it done. Let's go up here and uh, disturb the people who are asleep. Hello, good sir. And there we go. For our last stop, we gotta talk to the bookkeeper. And what did I say we needed? Magic Treaties 1. Go ahead and read. Take a look. Magic Treaties. Uh, magic Mastery. Alright, so Seal of Power. It'll give us more electric magic power, more weapon damage, less backfire, and less fumble. Which is good. Our current fumble chance is 15. With this um, Seal of Power, it'll be down to 10%. So a couple more pieces of gear that help us offset some fumble and we will have basically zero fumble chance, or not zero fumble, zero backfire chance. That's really, really good to see. All right, y'all, that'll do it for today's episode. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this channel with your friends and family. And I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.